Good morning, Virgo. This message is for you. And please take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Tap into the energy of Virgo. I was meditating on your energy, Virgo, and I feel a very calming spirit about you. I feel like you're in a really soothing place right now. Um, I'm feeling like maybe you'll be traveling in the near future. Okay, okay, two cards, one card. Let's see, we have the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so I feel like you're a very independent person. You're, uh, you may be wealthy, or you may have all that you need at the moment. Um, but I'm feeling like you're very independent. This could also be that you're single at the moment. The Ten of Pentacles, okay. So yeah, you're going from the Nine to the Ten of Pentacles. So you're progressing. Are you progressing in your career? Are you um, gaining on your finances? I feel like this is coming through for you, Virgo. And with the Seven of Swords, I feel like, I don't know, people may see what you're doing and they're kind of talking behind your back, I think. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like there's a lot of gossip going around. Um, this could also be that someone's trying to take something from you. The Six of Pentacles. Okay. Lots of Pentacles in this reading so far. Okay, so I see. Uh, you've given somebody something. You've given somebody something, and now they don't want to give it back. They want to hold it, they want to keep it for themselves. The Empress. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So lots and lots of Pentacles in this reading so far. And so I think that you're you're actually very stable at the moment. You are you are really taking on or you are going to take on this Empress energy, which is very fruitful, very fertile. If you're not looking to get pregnant right now, make sure to take those precautions because this is a very motherly um, energy. And this could also be about your mother, um, but maybe your mother has gifted you some kind of financial uh, abundance, some kind of um, money coming your way. But I feel like Intuitively, I feel like this is your energy. You're you're coming into a very fertile, very um, creative and abundant time in your life. If you're thinking about manifesting something, if you have your intentions on manifesting, I think that you really need to set your intention and be very clear on your intention on what you want. Um, because with that Empress energy, you're, you're very likely to get what you manifest. This is that time for you. You are, you're very fertile for manifesting what it is you want. Okay. Let's see, and the hierophants. Okay. I 
I think you're going, um, you're, you're connecting with yourself right now. You are becoming more spiritual uh, in your beliefs. You could also be a teacher. But yeah, I feel like you're moving the Six of Swords. I feel like you're moving into calmer waters. You are um, moving into a calmer period of your time. And I feel like whatever this person, uh, the Seven of Swords, is trying to take from you, you're, you've actually progressed from that. You're actually um, moving into a calmer period of your life. The Knight of Cups. And the hangman. Okay. I think that you're going to receive a message. Um, you're actually dealing with something at the moment. Um, it may not be bad, but you're dealing with something at the moment. And you're going to receive a message. You're going to receive an offer that's going to give you a new perspective on how to deal with the situation. And this could be in your finances. This could, it could very well be in your finances since you have so many pinnacles in your, in your reading so far. Um... The Nine of Swords. Okay, so you've been very anxious about whatever it is that you've been thinking about. Um, you've been fearful of how this, I want to say how this person is going to react. Um, But I feel like you've sacrificed so much already, Virgo. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see what we got here. The Wheel of Fortune. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune. The Fool, the Six of Cups, and the Death card. Okay, I, I feel like things are moving in your life. Things are kind of coming full circle. And it looks like... looks like you've been looking towards the past. Have you had a relationship in the past that kind of ended and you're contemplating on a new beginning of this relationship? I feel like this is something that you should not go back to if this is a relationship. I feel like this relationship is done and over. You've done moved on. And now you have time for a new beginning. The Page of Swords. Yeah, you're going to receive messages um, that's going to bring you a lot of clarity on the situation that you're looking towards. And you have the Two of Swords as well. So it's going to be something that you're going to have to make a choice on. You need to make a choice on this situation. You have a choice between two. You, you have a choice between two paths. Which path will you go down? Um, the 
two of swords came out again. So it's going to be something that's going to be a definite choice. And you have the queen of swords as well. The queen of swords, she's going to be very honest and truthful with you about the situation. So if you're asking someone for advice, she's going to give you an honest opinion on the situation. Um, she's going to help you bring clarity to the situation. So, yeah, I feel that for you. And I know I've kind of drugged this on, but I needed more clarity with this situation. Now, let's look into it a little bit deeper. Okay, the King of Swords. I think that you're... Don't get caught in your head um, about this situation. I think you should just make your plans. If, if this is travel plans, it could be plans that are delayed. Um, maybe you're trying to make a choice on your destination. And it's the plans aren't kind of panning out yet. Um, the moon. Yeah, there may be problems ahead that you aren't seeing. But I think you should stay on the path that you're moving on. Because um, you're moving in the right direction. But I think that th there may be a change ahead that, that you haven't noticed. Okay, the strength card and the two of cups. I think that you strongly believe in a connection. Is this the connection from the past? If this is the connection from the past, I think that you should... I see you moving away. I, th I see you moving away from it. Maybe you were thinking about it for a moment and you were moving away from it. Yeah, and you are, you're having second thoughts. This reading is all over the place. Oh my goodness, this is just interesting. I think that you, you were thinking that this was going to go someplace and it really didn't. So you are... being hopeful, but in the same time, you know that you've come full circle with this situation and you know it's come to an end. So it's time to start that, that new cycle. It's time to start that new cycle and move on to something different. Move on to um, a new creation. Uh, you have all the resources you need. You're you're the magician. You are. You're independent. You're fruitful. You are magnificent, Virgo. Wow. Okay. And we have the Temperance. Yeah, I think this, oh my goodness, and the Ace of Swords. So yes, uh, you're definitely moving into a new beginning. You're definitely looking for something different in your life. And I think that if you go within um, with the, I know I have the Hermit here someplace. With the, I know the Hermit is someplace in here. I know it is, but um, no, I won't. I won't dig deeper. But um, I feel like if you go within, um, gain some some insight from your higher self, you're gonna find all the wisdom and all the answers that you need. All the wisdom and all the answers that you need are there, 
Um, I just think you need to dive deeper. Um, but overall, this is a very fruitful time for you. This is a new beginning, an end of a cycle and a new beginning. Um, so yeah, I think that yeah, you also have the full. So yeah, okay. Okay, Virgo, that is your complicated reading for the day. All right, if you need more clarity on the situation, of course, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Oh, let's see. Let's, I'm going to pull one more card. And this is going to be... It's because I already feel like your reading is like all over the place. Okay, so this person, this person that you think are thinking of, they love you unconditionally. Wow. Okay. It's time for me to heal now. Okay, Virgo, I hope this gave you some clarity on your situation. Um, please look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity if you know your signs. But thank you for joining me, and many blessings to you, love and light.